Hi there, so on PEP 8 assembly language, I will today show you how we use loop statements. So bear with me, and at the end you will see the whole program, how we create it, everything will be explained, so don't worry. First of all, I will create my branch for main, and main, like this. I will need two variables, at least two, so I will just declare two of them, it's enough. And, and num2, I will say. Now I'll go to my main branch here and I will ask for input of the symbol. So it will be assigned to 1d and load number 1. Now, now what I can do is it's similar thing to if statement because if statements are similar to loops. We need also compare. So what I do is compare value of number one with the compare accumulator. I will say five. And if compare value, if them if num one is greater than, I will say branch greater than then go to G and else it will do something else so I will do subtract 1 and I will store it in num2 that's what will happen and I will also branch it to the uh, to the H where the all the output will be so this will happen only when um, the compared value, so for example, it will be 5, 4, 3 uh, of the number 1 will be less than 5. So like 4, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, stuff like this. So this statement will, those statements will be executed. And if it's true that the value, number, uh, value of number 1 is greater than 5, so it's 6 and stuff like this, and so on, it will do this statement. I will say add one and I will set I will say asla and I will store it in num2. Now to this will just do a normal if statement. But what I want to do is um uh, loop statement. So to do a loop statement, I need to again uh, state the compare value. I will want to, for example, compare it to, let's say, 30. And if the compared value, so number two, sorry, it's not 30, it will go loop again. So I want to uh, branch it to G again, but branch if it's less than. So if it's less than 30, it will do the branching, it will add 1 again, and it will multiply by 2 again, store it in 2, and then check the condition if it's less than 30. If it is, it will do it again. If no, it will go out and do the H statement. <coughs> That's why I put the branch H here, because I, will, I don't want this code to be executed if the value is not true okay so what I do here is the decimal output uh, number one for the original number and I will do character for separator Just add something like this and I will output second number now we'll stop it and end it. So as you can see, when you when I run this with the number less than five or five, so for example four, I will show you on five. So when I do the five, it will subtract one. So the original number is five, and it will do this code. And then this. So it will actually subtract one and store it in number two. That's what it will do. That's it. But if I put number more than 5, so it's 6, for example, 
I will get 30. Why is that? So I get 6, I add 1, so I have 7, multiply by 2, so it's 14, I store it, I check the value, if it's more than uh, 30, it is not, 14 is more, it's not more than 30, so I loop again to the same statement, I add 1, so it's 15, times 2, it's 30, uh, and uh, store it, if it, and I check again, if the 30 is less than 30, it's not, it's equal, which means it's not less than, so I will go out, I will do this statement, and those, I will do, just do those statements, so printing out number 1 and number 2. So, for example, if I put 7, the value will change because, as you can see, I will multiply by more. So I have 8 multiplied by 2 is 16. It's, again, not more than 30. So I branch uh, to this, so I loop, and I do the same calculation. So I have, uh, so I have, like, uh, so, uh, wait, 7, 8, uh, 16, 17. I will have 17 times 2, oh, well, it's kind of... Yeah, 34, 34, yeah. So as you can see, sorry for my blood ring because uh, I just were calculating, <laughs> don't worry about this. Okay, so this is actually it. That's how we do it. If you want to do the loop, we state another condition. So we compare the value. We don't need to compare it with the 30. We can compare it with the X or with number one and stuff like this number two we can compare it with anything we want so I can for example say num1 and compare it to number one and it's 16 now so the number one is seven and the answer is 16 because eight times two is 16 and it will not execute it will not loop again because uh, the compared value is more than, it's less than, I mean, it's more than actually, than number one. So that's how it works. Have a, have a, play around with it. Visit my page, visit my uh, channel on YouTube. You can find many more tutorials on uh, Visual Basic, also Java, and maybe later on I will put some tutorials on C++ if you're interested also so tutorials on computer systems like binary and hex stuff like this useful stuff when you program sometimes that will be it for this tutorial I will see you next tutorial and bye